As easy as it is for a teacher to create a grid and add a topic, Flipgrid has made it just as easy for students to access grids and respond to topics. So here I am as a student on Flipgrid's website. Now I could be um, choosing to respond to a topic on my phone. I would need the Flipgrid app installed on my iOS or Android phone in order to do so. And I would just simply click on the app and I would follow very similar steps. So again, here I am on the web. I'm going to enter in the flip code that my teacher has shared with me. I'll click the little arrow button. And notice that this particular grid is locked and it's only accessible through um, logging in with your school email account, either Google or Microsoft. And in our district, Google and Microsoft accounts are the same uh, school email account. The reason why this grid is locked uh, and only accessible by school email is because remember we set this grid up as a school email domain grid community type. So depending on the grid community type, the security around accessing the grid will look different. So as a student, I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account. I'll choose my student email. And I am now inside that social eight reflections grid. I can see the topic. And to add my response to the topic or to get started, I'm just simply going to click on the topic. Once I'm ready to add my response, I'll just simply click the large green plus button. Now make sure you have allowed Flipgrid to access and use your camera. Once you have done so, you are now ready to go ahead and record your response, or at least get set up to record your response. Now, a couple of things that I wanna point out. On your record display, not only do you see yourself uh, in a fairly large window, uh, you also have a few little options. You can always click on this icon here in the top right corner in order to expand the topic and read the topic instructions or description or any provided prompts. We can close this topic by again clicking on that topic icon. You will also have sticky notes. You can add sticky notes and move them around on your screen, you can add as many as you need. And on these sticky notes, you could always uh, post some notes for yourself uh, to use when you're recording your response. Let's click options. Notice that you can adjust the camera size from 16 by nine to one by one. We'll go back to options. You can turn on or off the audio and in options is where you could actually import a video that you've recorded using a different platform or video recording tool. Thanks to some pretty cool recent updates, Flipgrid videos are now optimized for every device with a 16 by nine or desktop square or a nine by 16 full screen mobile. Better yet, if your device has two cameras, uh, let's just return to the video I can use the flip button here to flip between the different cameras on my device. The most important part of Flipgrid is recording the video. And while Flipgrid made it super simple to record before, they've somehow managed to make this process even easier and gave us even more recording abilities um, or superpowers as they like to call them. So once I'm ready to record, I'm simply going to press the big red record button right here on the center of my recording screen. It gives me a three second countdown and I am now recording my Flipgrid response. Now notice that if I need to, I can always redo. So I can always click the pause and then click on the redo icon down here at the bottom left corner. But once I'm ready, I can go ahead and click next. Speaking of superpowers, let's take a look at some of those 
features that we now have when we're recording our video. So once I've recorded my Flipgrid video response, I uh, now see a review screen. Notice that I have the ability to trim my video. So maybe I forgot what I was going to say at the end of the video, or uh, someone stopped by unexpectedly uh, towards the end of my recording and I need to cut them out of the video. I can always trim it by adjusting the scissors here. Now, when you trim the beginning or end of your video, you'll unlock additional recording time. You just simply click on the add more, the little time bubble here at the bottom, in order to uh, go back to a recording stage and record more to add to your video. Here in the center, we have the title button. If you click on this, you can title your video. Remember to add a hashtag to your title. This will help when you're filtering videos. There's also a little attach button where you can add an attachment to your video. This could be a link, um, any URL uh, to a Google Doc or a Google Slide presentation, or even to a Microsoft file. Once you're satisfied with your video response, simply click Next. And now it's time to snap your selfie. And you can go ahead and add stickers or ink up your selfie. You can retake your selfie um, by clicking the redo button um, as many times as you need without losing any stickers or drawings that you've added to your selfie. All right, so once I've finished making my selfie, hashtag magical, I'm simply going to click next. Look at how fast Flipgrid uploads that video. Now, notice that in this case, the video is pending approval, and that's because the topic is moderated. So that means that uh, I will not see my video response until my teacher goes in and actually uh, approves my response. Once my response has been approved, I will see my video response right here, next to the record uh, button, and uh, same thing for my classmates' responses. Once they have been approved, they will appear in this space below the topic.